Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have a good time together enjoying the wisdom of the prophet of all prophets. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you know who is he. Uh, his first uh, letter of his name is Muhammad. Um, you can guess now who is the prophet we are talking about. I just give you the first letter of his name. And uh, actually, I do not need to give you, I mean, any letter, because everybody knows, I mean, he is the first and the only amazing prophet in the world. He is the one who discovered that the black dog is the devil. And actually, this is proven scientifically. I mean, there's scientists from around the world. Uh, there's a scientist from Japan, his name, Suzuki, Yama Suzuki, uh, Toyota, Honda, uh, you know, uh, Yamu Kamora, uh, Yama, I do like Yama. He confirmed those facts and he made a study about black dogs and he found that the black dogs they are literally the devil as the prophet Muhammad he said now for sure uh, there's a connection according to the prophet Muhammad peace upon him uh, between the color of the dog and the dog I mean the dog is a dog at the end of the day remember that but what makes him the devil that he's black so prophet Muhammad is not racist no 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 he is not it's not about racism this is just he is just reporting for us a fact. Hmm. So Muhammad is a prophet and, uh, you know, I mean, how he knew? Think about it. Actually, you should not think because if you are we're talking about Muhammad, we are not even allowed to think. The second you start thinking, they will kill you. I mean, they will, uh, uh, they will, uh, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, so anyway, uh, Prophet Muhammad is an amazing prophet. I'm going to open my Skype to any Muslim who like to show us any prophecy from such a prophet which is not laughable and stupid and dummy look how easy my challenge is i challenge you to show me one prophecy muhammad he said is not laughable stupid and dummy i mean you should be able to find a lot man he's a prophet this guy he spent his life talking he never stopped talking he's like radio station in the morning he's talking, at night, even when he's sleeping he's talking. Let us log into our Skype, and please only Muslims can call. If you are a Christian and you call me, I will hang up on you, because we won't give time to the Muhammadan to present their case, which is horrible. Do we have any Muhammadan would like to give us a call? <coughs> My Skype is open. And actually, I'm thinking to change this account, you know, DBA TV, because I open it, it's scary. I mean, I have thousands of people text me, and I don't know if those people expected me to answer back. I'm not sure. Maybe some people think they are the only one who texts me in this earth. We will see what you'll do. So, do we have any Muslim would like to call us and give us a prophecy about his prophet, which is not laughable? Anyone? There's no need for link. What link? Debate TV. Anyone would like to call us? I remember if you show us a prophecy of Prophet Muhammad, I mean, Allah he will give you extra versions in the heaven. I mean, this is alone as a reward for you. What do you want more? All my life, I wanted to have versions, you know? Uh, like even when I go to buy milk, I buy uh, olive version. They say to me, but you want to drink milk? I said, still, I'm going to buy virgin oil. Why? Because it says virgin. I cannot. I'm stuck. I go to buy tea or coffee. Still, I have, I buy uh, virgin oil. They say, when I drink tea or, you know, coffee, what this, this is oil. You cannot. I said, it doesn't matter. I want virgins. It's my dream. I mean, he is the prophet who promised us virgins. Nobody else do that. And not only that, I mean, there's something unique about those virgins. Each time you do boom, boom with them, they come back as virgins. I mean, that's alone is something. Imagine this. You take a car. You drive the car. You go back home. The meter of your car go back to zero. This is not a cheating, no. I mean, come on. You just, I just tried the car. It's used. It's virgin. 
So, you know, Muhammad, he have his own logic and Muslims after him, they take the logic and it's amazing logic if you think about it. I mean, you always think that you are, you are 21 again. What 21? You are 14, I mean, 16, 17 again. Right? So who is a Muhammadan would like to give us a call and show us one prophecy of a prophet Muhammad who said the black dogs are the devil because they are black? How, how he knew this? For sure, Jibreel told him, and Jibreel he never lie. And who and who told Jibreel? Allah. Allah he knew best. I mean, it's proven. This is scientific. You know, they asked the prophet, "What is the difference between the black dog and yellow dog and white dog?" He said, "The black dog is the devil." And this is this is true. Look at him, actually. Here, just please look at him. If we let us do do a scientific study case in the Islamic laboratory. Of the University of Mecca. If we make a study uh, case, I forgot most of those kuffar here. They don't do any study. They are kuffar infidels. Don't even know anything about science. <laughs> Disgusting people, kuffar people. Yeah, what you can say, brother? The Quran says they are like animals. Al kal anam. First, uh, here, brother. Look with me at the tail. Focus with me, brother. Focus. Here we go. The tail is look like the word start with Allah. So this shaitan, he is putting Allah where? I mean, long look. I mean, what, what he is trying to say to us. What the dog is trying to say to us. So Muhammad, he been taught by Allah that this black dog is the devil. And look at his ears. Why? Because he is trying to spy at Allah. If you remember in the Quran, there's verses speaking about the shaitan. He tried to spy at Allah. CIA and KGB is not only on Earth. Even Allah, he suffered from uh, like a Russian scandal, like uh, Trump, uh, Wikipedia, Wikileak, you know, those things. I mean, those are exist too in the heaven too, you know. So, Shaitan, he tried to spy at Allah. So, look, he is in a large position. His tail is up, his ears is up, his eyes is focused, trying to read the Quran of Allah up in the heaven. And yet those kuffar brother, they are not accepting that this is scientific. Why I said, hold on, let me try to see it correctly. Uh, this is it. Oh. You see, looking at the devil make me lose my 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 my, my skills in 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 in, 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 in Ital Italian. So, if, brother, if you this is scientific, brother. It's all is a scientific. He's a prophet because this prophecy. You think about it. You know when he said the, the black dog is the devil. It's, it's a prophecy. Nobody knows those things except Muhammad. Who told Muhammad those things? Allah. Any 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 Muslim want to want to say something to us about this amazing prophecy? Hmm? Anyone? I mean, how Muhammad he came to this conclusion? This is so so good to be true. This is guy is a genius. Anyone? Any Muslim? My Skype is open. What's wrong? Any Muslim? Okay. I don't see any text from any Muslim. We have a caller. Hold on. We we missed his call actually. <clears throat> All right. Don't call me, please, if you are not a Muslim. All right. I think this is an ex-Muslim. He used to call me, and uh, as I think this is him. Not sure. We are calling him back. Okay, he's not answering. Forget it. I mean, this Skype is really weird. But I don't even see the call. What is the call? I'm making the call, but now it's not. Doesn't show. I think Skype's stuck. Stupid program. 
I am the one who's calling supposedly, but I don't see the call no more. Let's try again. <coughs> All right. There is someone try to call me. I don't know if he's a Muslim. Please don't call me if you are not a Muslim. I will call you back. I hope you are a Muslim. Okay, it's not working. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us and show us how Muhammad is a prophet? What is what is the sign for a prophet in Islam? Like, how, what make you are qualified to be a prophet? Hmm. Oh, we have a Muslim. Hold on. All right. Hello. Please mute you too. Yes. Yes, Mr. Yes. Hussein. How are you, Mr. Hussein? You are, yes. You are live on air with us. Go ahead. A, yes, okay. I'm a Muslim. That's wonderful. What do you like to say to us? What makes Muhammad a prophet? Uh, because, um, you know, Muhammad uh, revealed the Quran. And Quran is a book of miracles and science and knowledge mm. for all humanity. Mm. I like that. Can you give us an example? Yes. Uh, do do you know about uh, prophecies about embryology? No, I do not know about uh, that. Can about you? Uh, that uh, women's uh, womb consists of three layers, and according to embryology, it is uh, exactly correct. Okay. What what verse we are talking about in the Quran? Uh, actually, I. Can't uh, understand. Uh, I can't uh, figure out what the verse is. I can. I. I don't remember. You know. Ah, okay. But well, I okay. Know I exactly okay. That then it is in Quran. No problem. So let me help I you. That let me help you. Book is from okay. God. All right. I, I. I will help you, my friend. The Quran says that women she have a sperm, and her sperm is coming from her ribs. Is that the one you are talking yes. about? Hmm. Where does it say that? In the Quran. Actually, uh, yes, I heard uh, from some non-Muslim, uh, you know, uh, propaganda that uh, it is uh, about uh, women's sperm and uh, men's sperm between mm. the ribs or backbone, but I don't believe in it. Mm -hmm. But in the Quran in front of us, chapter 86, verse number 7, Can you read it? Because I, I, I know I am uh, me myself. I'm illiterate. I do not know how to read. But I, this is what make me qualified to be a prophet. You see, if I say I can read, then people will not accept me as a prophet. I want to be like Muhammad. He didn't know how to read, but yet he's a prophet. So anyway, so what about you read it for us? Chapter eighty-six, verse number seven. You can read verse number six and seven. Uh, you can read as many verses as you want, just because we don't want to say he is misquoting or something. Read uh, verses before it and after. One, one second. I will try to open my YouTube and yeah. to read it, okay? No problem. If you show it in your screen. No problem. I show, I'm showing it in the screen right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Proce proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs. Yeah, that's amazing, my friend. How, how the prophet knew that? So here we go, the backbone. He, the backbone of the man. He is, and, great, uh. he is created from a drop. Uh -huh. emitted, uh -huh. proceeding from uh -huh. between the backbone and the ribs. Uh -huh. Surely Allah is able to bring him back to life. Uh -huh. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Okay. What does that mean now? Especially when you say Alhamdulillah, what does uh -huh. that mean? <laughs> I, I come to rely in the name of Allah. No, Alhamdulillah doesn't mean in the name of Allah. Alhamdulillah means thanks to Allah. Since when Alhamdulillah mean in the name of Allah? You are funny, my friend. Uh, I'm so, yeah, yes, that was my fault. Yes. I ah, agree. okay, it's your fault. Yes. No problem. We, uh, Jibreel, he fixed you. It's one, the, the one who told me to tell you that, Jibreel. <laughs> so now, what kind of a prophet he prophesy 
that women she have a sperm coming from her ribs and men have a sperm coming from his backbone. Do you know the song? It's always like in a, it's a very famous song. It says backbone, backbone. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when I come for you? I mean, the Prophet Muhammad he knew this. How he knew that a sperm of man? Yes. Coming yes. from the backbone. Okay. Yes. This is discovery. Good, oh. good joke. This good is not joke. a good joke. This is serious, my friend. Your prophet says that. Are you laughing at your prophet now? He is the one who said that the sperm is coming from the backbone. So we have to show respect. Come on. This is a saying. Dr. Muhammad talking. Go ahead. Yes, uh, I see that. May maybe it's wrong translation. You know, I, I don't know Arabic. Maybe uh, uh -huh. some Arabic speakers can uh, translate it from different uh, no problem. Uh, meaning, you know? No problem. We can we can go and see the interpretation for the verse. What do you think? Is inter interpretation is fine for you? Can we read the interpretation? Yes, please. Uh, okay. Some, Chapter uh, eighty six. Interpretation. Ibn Kathir. He's a he's a big scholar for the Muslims, and he graduated from the uh, you know he have a driver license, so he can you know he can drive us crazy. So, yes. B before you will read it, I have one uh, simple question about Ibn Kathir. Where did he? When did he live? When is it? Is he an early Muslim scholar or maybe some? No, he's not uh, that. Old... He's not early. But we can show you even earlier if you want. No problem. I mean, if, uh, we have we have tons of Muslim scholars. But Ibn Kathir, we, because we have his translation in English, which is not the same as in Arabic, because Muslims they fabricate a translation to to make it look mm -hmm. nicer. But because we have it in English, we can show it to you. However, if you like different interpretation, no problem. You can read for us. If you want, you can choose an interpretation and you read for us. No problem. Go ahead. Uh, actually, I want a, a much. Uh, I, I I I want a, a interpretation as early as it possible. Well, no? yeah, this is as early as possible. Is my mother-in-law, which I don't have it yet, because I'm not married. This is the earlier I can go. But this is your book, isn't it? This is your book. I mean, what I, what we can do now. This is your scholars. They are saying what they are saying. And if we go, I'll read. Okay. This is. Ibn Kathir. Okay. Okay, and then we read the interpretation. Uh, <clears throat> ah, by the way, uh, yeah, by the way, are you so uh, so kind? I I heard your voice maybe uh, in in past year, and you were. Uh, a, a little bit, uh, you know, angry. No, you know, if a, if a person, is, no, if a person a speak to me, bit, uh, if a person, kind to no, me. if a person speak to me kindly, I speak to him kindly. If a person want to play games okay. with me, I, I spank him with no mercy. Uh, that's as simple okay. as that. Okay, now this is Ibn Kathir. As simple as that. This is Ibn Kathir, as simple as that, you know. So it says here, فَلْيَنْظُرُ الْإِنسَانَ مِمَّا خَلَقْ خُلِقْ let us see what the, the man he is created from. And okay, he continues saying, He created from water gushing forth, meaning the sexual fluid that comes rust, rusting forth from the man and the woman. Those that shall proceed from both of them, wonderful. So the child is created by a rusting liquid, which is stupid to say because women, liquid have nothing to do with the creation of the baby. They have an egg. Proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs, meaning the backbone and the, of the man and the ribs of the woman. Do you see it? Which referring, yes. which is referring to her chest. Hmm. So what do you say now? Uh, uh, I, yeah, I, I'm not, I'm not a medical doctor. I am not too. Trust me. I, the, 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 I, once I worked, by the way, in a, in, a, in a clinic, it was a crazy clinic, like for people like, you know, and everybody there was, his name is Muhammad, all the patients. But anyway, I learned from that that science is unlimited and the only way to reach and to know about science is to join the school of Muhammad. And there I learned that women, they have a sperm coming from the upper side of their chest, which is the location of their necklace. Well, this is why I'm still single. I mean, you don't want to go to the bedroom, your wife should take off her clothes. And instead of seeing breast, you see testicles. I mean, this is scary. What do you think? Yes, this is, uh, you know, I think that this is wrong. This is wrong. So why Muhammad is a prophet for you? Then you just admitted that Muhammad is lying. You just said everybody heard you. Thank you very much. Actually, you know, actually, I think I, I thought a uh, couple of times about why uh, Jibril, uh, why Jibril uh, cleaned his breast twice. Yes. According to yeah, Hadith or according to Sirah, 
I heard some stories about Mohammed when he was a young boy, yeah. uh, in the age of six, uh, someone, maybe Jibril, maybe some, someone else, yeah. came to him and uh, cut his uh, breast, and then Jibril put it to his breast, uh, some blessings, and, uh, you know, right. uh, how to say. And after, uh, after a few decades, uh, this operation was repeated. Mm. <laughs> So yeah. so what uh, so why? so yeah why I mean, this is this is, don't you think this is stupid you know this this is actually a story I was there by the way when he uh, when Jabril he cut his chest and because I was giving like uh, Jabril the the scissor and the stuff to cut the chest a, a lot of garbage was there I mean really, I mean we found hands of babies we found fingers we found lizards ah, yes. yeah okay so now so what do you think okay the Quran we just approved that the Quran is a stupid book teaching that women have a sperm coming from her ribs and the sperm of the man is coming from the back one which is both of them stu stupid and wrong so how this is can be from God and this prophet he needed two plastic surgery to be clean and how they do it they try cut his chest and you know the Muslim they say if Allah wants something he say be why he didn't say be clean and what what's wrong with the chest of Muhammad why nobody of the prophet Musa's all the prophets why God did not cut their chest and do the cleaning surgery and take all this stuff yes. and wash it So what do you think you want to stay as a Muslim my friend? After you all know, uh, I, I'm, I'm confused. That's why I'm calling to you because I'm a Muslim for all my life and mm. my uh, parents uh, Actually, you know from uh, where I am. No, I don't you, know. You, you don't know, right? No. I'm from I'm from a uh, former USSR, so I'm uh, from Russia and from uh, Kavkaz, you know. Uh huh. Okay. Yes. Yes. And uh, if you if you if you know one guy, his name is Khabib Nurmagomedov. He's UFC fighter, right? And uh, people like him, they are very devout Muslims. And uh, people from uh, Kafkaz, Dagestan, and Chechnya, especially, mm. they are really, really devout Muslims. They can kill you if you are, if you are tell somebody that you are atheist or maybe if you are gay or lesbian. Uh, well, you know, my my, my friend, my this, friend, uh, my friend, those area those dummies, those, those dummies people, those dummies people, they are heroes in front of coward. Let them come to me and kill me, and let us see what how good they are in killing. We don't care all those things they don't mean nothing for us we are men we fear no death and this is all if we are coward we will not be here talking about the faith of muhammad so now i'm asking you after you discover all this garbage about this is muhammad and this is allah speaking there is no way we can say this is the yes. so how how god yes. he says such a stupid thing if he's god i i think that it is um, it can't be from uh from maybe from God uh, himself, but maybe it was corrupted by people. I uh, know. Maybe maybe Quran was uh, in different uh, in different shape. I, I, I don't know how. My to friend, say, uh, my friend, know. my friend. You and, and you, do, you members, do not know. You uh, do, you, okay. Muslims uh, listen, who re 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 rewrite. Uh, listen, Quran, listen, listen. They change the words. And let us meanings. say, let us say, this is what happened for the sake of argument. But most they keep saying that the Quran never, never changed, preserved, etc. So now, in order to Actually, save, I, in order to I save the ass of Muhammad, in order to save the ass of Muhammad, we say it's Quran. Because uh, it's it's impossible. You know, Quran in uh, in our world, Quran is as simple as a book. Uh, which recorded in uh, paper, right? And mm. everybody can uh, may, can can take this paper and rewrite it according mm. to his uh, me, right? Yeah, but my friend, what, so this, what this I, have to I do? That, what this have to do with our topic? Uh, somehow, you see, Allah my friend, my friend, you believe? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hussein, Hussein. When I say to you, Muhammad, where we find what Muhammad said, where Allah has God said in the Quran? So this is the Quran. And now if you want to say to me, the Quran obviously is corrupted, so why you are following a corrupted teaching and you call yourself a Muslim? Because in either way, you just say that the Quran obviously is corrupt. But for me, it, it, uh, uh, you cannot corrupt the corrupt twice. Muhammad he himself is a fraud. Muhammad himself, he said tens of things which is stupid, I mean hilarious. And those Russian uh, Caucasian Muslims, they let, let them fart from now until the coming centuries. They not, will not scare any of us, and we will laugh at their prophet as much as we will. Now, 
Why you want to stay as a Muslim when somebody says something stupid that women have a sperm coming from her ribs and men have a sperm coming from his backbone? I mean, this is the most stupid idiot man ever. Yes. Yes. Thank you. So you agree that Muhammad is a stupid idiot. So do you do you accept to leave Islam, my friend? I I I agree that uh, that thing uh, from Quran is stupid. Okay, yes. but don't you agree with Muhammad is a stupid? I, I'm too? afraid this this word. Uh, yeah, yes, if Muhammad if Muhammad really said this, yes, uh, he was okay. uh, illiterate. All right, no problem. Let, let us let us help you with Muhammad what he said about this because we can go and see what Muhammad said about things like that. Muhammad he said as an example. Uh, that if the water of the man come before the water of the women, the baby will look like the father. Oh, yes. Okay. I, I heard this story and uh, hmm. uh, some, something about Jews came to Muhammad and they asked him, right? Yeah, yeah no, this is different, Hadith. The, the one I'm showing you right ah, now is different. Okay. One, yeah. Here it says, the message of Allah says, the man water is thick and white, and the woman water is thin and yellow, and which of them comes first, the child will resemble the parent. Okay, how in the world this guy is a prophet? And he is the same using the same chapter of 86, talking about women have a sperm, and man has a, has a sperm, but he did not talk where they are coming from, but he made even more stupid mistake by claiming that if you come first, you are the one who chose the gender and the look of the baby. But all of us renew that this has nothing to do with anything. Who comes first, who come after. Most of Muslim women, they never come actually. Muslim men, when they have sex, they are like rabbit. They finish it after two seconds, you know? So, and this is what happened to Muhammad. That's why he never have kids. The guy before he start, he finish. The women before even she take yes. her panty off, Muhammad is done. So now here we see Muhammad saying something more horrible about how the baby is made, showing us that he's a false prophet. How in the world, do you agree? That if a man have orgasm first, he is the one who controls the gender and the look. If a woman have orgasm first, the, he is, she is the one who controls the gender. And look, he's describing what control the gender. He said the women have water, and this water is a sperm, semen. This is why he called both the man water and the women water. So he said the man water is white and thick. Okay, so he's talking about what? Obviously sperm, semen. And the women water is thin and yellow, so he thinks that the thin water in the vagina of a woman is a sperm too. And that will consider, consider what will make the baby from both. But all of us renew that this is absolutely false. For what makes the baby is not a water in the vagina, the women she have an egg, correct? Mm -hmm. hmm. So Muhammad again is an idiot. You know, uh, yes, it looks like uh, it was wrong, but I, I, I don't know. Uh, we have another hadith about uh, great things about Muhammad, about uh, his kindness, about he split the moon. And uh, Muhammad, I, I, I don't know. Muhammad, he split the moon. From, from, uh, Muhammad, okay, life, hold on, hold on. My, my, my friend, my friend, Hussein, good Hussein. Things about Muhammad. Hussein, you know, Hussein. Muhammad. I will be honest with you. Before I last be prophet. Today, before I go live on air, this is between me and you. Before I go live on air, I split the banana. <laughs> what split the moon? I mean, the moon is there. Do you see the moon is split? I mean, this is the, this is the most funny joke ever. I mean, how in the world even we can say such a thing? If the moon is there, do you see two pieces? Do we see two moons? So if Muhammad, he split the moon, what happened? Somebody put it back and glue it again, like a moon come back. I'm going to use a crazy glue with you. What the moon is split? This is a joke. The moon is there, my friend. There's nothing split. The only the only thing is split in the head of the Muslims. Where is the moon? Where is the moon which is split? When you say split, it means became two pieces. Correct. Uh, yes, but uh, after he split it, he, uh, then he uh, merged merged them together. Where where it says that? Where you get the story from? Where it says he merged them together? Where it says that? No, the Quran says. If you go to the chapter of the moon, it's called Inshaq al Qamar, the moon is split, that's it. And it doesn't even say who is the one who did that. So, Muhammad the fool, he saw the eclipse. He, th he thought this is the end of the time. 
And this is why Muhammad, each time he see the Eclipse, he go crazy and he start praying like a madman. And even sometimes he rush, uh, he forget to wear his clothes when he see the Eclipse. So the Quran says, in al Qamar, okay, doesn't say even anything except the moon is split. And then he claim that this is the judgment day hour, but this is a false prophecy. You see, we were talking about Muhammad, the false prophet. The hour is near and the moon is split asunder. So Muhammad prophesied falsely here that this is a sign of a judgment day, but this has happened 1400 years ago. Do you see it? If I say to you right now, the moon is split and this is the, the, judgment, the judgment day started. And then 1400 years after go by and nothing happened. That's mean I'm, 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 I'm fooling around. I'm not telling the truth. Uh, uh, yes, hmm. but you know, Christians also have some uh, contradictions, some strange things. My friend, my, fr my, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. Let us take it one by one. Um, we can go and see what the Christians believe and then we will see if this what you are saying is true. You know, I am a Christian, I'm here willing to answer you, and we will love that there's, there's no such a thing. Secondly, why we jump from a story to a story? Do you agree with Muhammad saying that judgment day is near and the moon is split us under? That is a false prophecy. You see, we're talking about Muhammad as a false prophet. A false prophet is someone who say a prophecy and it turned to be false. The moon never split. No scientists agree with such a thing. And the Muslims, they now they are following scientists. They say we well, Quran is in agreement with scientists, but this is a, this is a joke. Secondly, he claimed that this is a sign of judgment day, but this is 1400 years ago and nothing happened. Number three, who is the one who split the moon? That doesn't say, always says, the hour is near and the judgment day split asunder. The moon split asunder. Uh, and, and you know, uh, one, one thing, uh, when Muhammad prophesied about uh, it, uh, last day, uh, he, he, he said that uh, sun will rise from the west Right? right, from the east. Right, but, uh, but when he's uh, and, uh, hmm. yes, and I think that uh, this is uh, this has some uh, interpretation, scientific interpretation, because no, if you know uh, mag magnetic no. field of our Earth. Yeah, uh, I, I, my friend, X, my friend, I, uh, no, I saw X, the video. X can I saw no, and, I saw uh, I saw the video fabricated by Muslims claiming that this is speak about scientific fact that the earth is slowing down and one day is going to turn its axis and will uh, uh, and will uh, the, the sun will uh, appear from the other direction but this is in total yes. disagreement with what muhammad said muslims are a fraud with my respect to you you are you sound like a nice guy but you are fooled by the fraud of the muslims the hadith says the opposite the hadith says it is the sun will change direction not the earth will change its axis look carefully my friend here we go this is the hadith and this is sahih this is sahih bukhari here we go. It says here, once I was with the prophet in the mosque at the, sun, at the time of the sunset, the prophet said, oh Abu Dhar, Abu Dhar mean uh, ants, he's the father of the ants. Do you know where the sun set? I replied, Allah and his apostle knows best. He said, it goes and prostrate under Allah throne. So this is the first mistake. Muhammad, he think it's the sun who is going are not you the one a second ago you told me? Are you eating my friend? Uh, I'm quite, you know, I'm cooking because... Oh, you are cooking? I'm okay. Hungry. What are you cooking yes. for us? Yes. I hope you will not use camel urine. Ah. Yeah. Don't use camel urine in the food. Now, listen. So who is the one who's going? Is the sun. It's not the earth moving. It is the sun. This is the first okay. mistake. And then he says, and that is Allah's statement that the sun runs into a fixed course. All right? In different hadith, he explained more. Yes. He explained how the sun every day go and then ask Allah for permission to come back. And this is the hadith the Muslim they use, but the hadith is so clear. The hadith saying that he, if the sun asks for permission to come back, and then one day the sun will not be allowed to come from the east. Allah will order it to come from where it came from. So this is, this is totally a deception of those who made those videos to fool people about how Muhammad discovered such a thing? Oh, mm. Maybe it's just uh, interpretation. No, my friend. Okay, no, 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 no. And, uh, no problem. Try your best. No, no, no. You see, can all the hadith. The 
how it uh, rises no. from the West. My right? friend, my friend, when your prophet says the sun goes, he said the sun goes. There's no other interpretation. Who goes? The sun. Who is going? The sun. Going where? Under the throne of Allah. So we cannot say this is this interpretation may be better than this one. It doesn't doesn't make any any uh, any. I mean, you cannot play that game because simply the sun is the one is moving in all the hadith. All the hadith. The sun is the one is going under the throne of Allah. It is not the earth going around itself. Where the sun goes. Do you understand me? When 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 you say, do you know where the sun goes? What about Muhammad saying that the sun set in a murky water? In a muddy hot water. Do you see the hadith? And this is Sahih in chain. It's correct. They ask him, he, he said, do you know where the sun goes? So again, Muhammad com confirming that the one who goes is the sun. It's not the earth going around itself, it's the sun going from point A to point B, and point A is the east, point B is the throne of Allah, and then ask for permission, and under the throne of Allah, there is a, there is, there is a hot, muddy spring of water. Do you see it? Yes. Okay, so how this is can be from God, what do you think? <clears throat> it sets in a spring of water. Mm. Um, okay, um, uh, you know, um, we here in uh, Russia, we don't, don't discuss those things uh, in mosques and uh, it's, I, I don't know uh, how to explain, it's uh, maybe not forbidden, but uh, just, uh, I don't know. Uh, my friend, me, our, our me, scholars, uh, me and Putin, don't, don't, uh, me and don't, uh, talk yeah, about no this. problem. But me, me and the Vladimir Putin, we speak every day about the Quran, and he die laughing. He call me every day before he go to bed. He say, "Can you Christian prince? Can you please help me? Give me a joke because I wanna relax from all the hard work I do." So I tell him a joke from Muhammad, and he die laughing. And then uh, the other day we stopped talking together in the phone because almost we have heart attack from laughing. Look at this. I mean, this is duffable. This is the most stupid statement ever. How this guy can be a prophet of God? Um, uh, but uh, can, can you explain? You are from Saudi Arabia, right? No, I'm actually I'm black, a blonde African American from Japan. Who cares where I'm from, my friend? Who cares? I mean, uh, we are talking about I, Muhammad, I, not about I, me. I just want to understand why so many uh, people, uh, one and a half billion Muslims around the world, uh, especially from Middle East, they can read uh, all the Hadith on Arabic and mm. they are still Muslims. I, I, because nobody I, can leave Islam. Who dare to leave Islam? Go to the Middle East. If, there, I, am, is, if I am now in the Middle East, some, my friend, my friend, I think, uh, my friend, a I second ago. There uh, is something in Islam which no. Uh, which is true. No, nothing which in Islam. Is true. Nothing in Islam is true. You just told me that the, in, in Russia we have Muslims can kill you if you say something about Muhammad. Correct? This is exactly yes. why there's people yes. that are still Muslims. Yes. Give them a freedom, people will leave Islam. So terrorism is the reason for Muslims to stay as Muslims. Give them freedom, you will see most of them they will leave Islam. Actually, the biggest mullah of Muslims today exists. His name is Al Qaradawi. He said, "If not the sword, Islam is gone long time ago." He said that. If not the sword, Islam is gone, history, from long time ago. And the sword will go, and here we go. The internet destroyed the sword of Muslims, and they cannot do anything with it. And we are laughing at Muhammad, what they can do about it, nothing. So they are not the super nations anymore. They are not the most powerful. They are a bunch of small nations. Even the big ones are small because they are big population, but they are small in power. So they can say whatever they want ah, who can stop us yes. who can who can who can stop the truth this is a truth we are reading their books we are not fabricating things we are not making fun of muhammad because we are just being idiots we are laughing at what he said we are not laughing at somebody or someone he did not say something funny funny and laughable this is what he said what why muslim they still muslims who said they are still muslims here we go you are calling me and you will leave islam so maybe in two minutes or five minutes or ten minutes from now i can tell you are out of islam already Aren't you? Maybe, maybe I'm not. No, I think maybe I am not a Salafi or I'm not. A I don't I care if you are a Salafi or not. I'm some, do you some accept? Sort of, uh, do you accept? You know, there are a lot of Hussein, different Hussein, kinds of Hussein, Muslims, Hussein, Hussein. and uh, 
Uh, who care? Who care? care, my friend? Who care? Who cetera, care? Cetera, who, cetera, care? Who, cetera, who care? 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 We just showed you. I agree with some of hadith, but no, uh, no, we showed you from general, the Quran. I agree with Islamic point of view uh, that uh, God is one. God is not human. God so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who said that God is one and God is not a human? Where in Islam it says that? Uh, everything in Islam said about uh, one God, one Allah. No. Okay, but Allah, he keeps saying we, we, and then he said in the Quran, if you want to take a partner, we will take it from ourselves. If Allah is one, he will take a partner, he will take it from ourselves. How he can be one? Uh, maybe uh, uh, Allah, when he says we, he means uh, himself. Okay, but he want to take a partner now. So he want to take partner from himself. He want to have sex with himself. In the Quran, chapter 21, verse number 17, speaking about taking a wife, a partner. So if we want to take a partner, we will take it from ourself. How he is one, yet he will take a partner from ourself. And Muslims, in order to fix this issue they have all a kind of false translation but the arabic is there and the interpretation is there even islamic interpretation agree that this is about allah taking partners having sex with the whore so if the whore is not from god kind why he called from ourselves read carefully had we intended to take a pastime i.e a wife or a son etc we could certainly take it from our from us if Allah is one, and the word we mean him only, so Allah will take a wife himself? Do you think Allah is a male and female in the same time is going to have sex with himself? No. Okay, but he says he will take a wife or a son, he will take from, from us. Maybe it means that everything was created by Allah and male and female was created by him and uh, as a creation I will go with you I will go with you but in order in order to marry a woman you have to be a man I mean you we have God we have a woman so you have to be from the same kind you want to have a son you see even if you have even if you if a, 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 a if a dog have sex with, with a cat, the cat will not have babies. But the dog, he, it's possible that he can have sex with the cat. But still the cat will not provide babies. So in order to have babies, you have to be from the same kind. So now Allah is saying, if we want to take a wife, he did not say a wife, I will take it from a human or my creation. He said us. Us. The second you say us, it means we are from the same kind, the same equality. You see? If, if somebody says, who is here is an Arab, I say, of me and my cousins, etc., I say us. That means we are the one who qualify to be from one kind. So, you don't say us unless it is the same kind. If I say, who is Russian, you say to me, us, correct? I am not Russian, you are Russian. Okay. So, in order to have the same the title as us, you have to be from the same quality and the same kind. So, when Allah, he says, if I take a partner... Yeah, we'll take it from us. So us and you, but you are one. Uh, huh, this is a complicated topic, uh, you know. Hmm. Maybe. Do you like versions? It needs... Hussein? Uh, what? Do you like versions? I like what? Versions. Ver versions? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> you like versions, don't uh, you? <laughs> it's a really confused question. Well, why? I mean, Allah, He promised you virgin. Each time you sleep with them, Allah will make them virgin again. I mean, isn't it obvious that this is the devil? Yes. Uh, isn't it, isn't yes. it obvious that I'm this is Satan? Isn't it I'm obvious? I, I, isn't it obvious that this is satanic, Hussein? This is satanic. I go to you and I say, if you believe in me as a prophet, I will give you a lot of women for sex, man. Come on, just do it. Believe in me. I am prophet. Isn't you it know, obvious? Uh, you know. Uh, to, to ask a person, uh, do you like versions, it's, uh, it's similar than to ask a person, you know, 
uh, do you like to masturbate, for example? Mm. You know? Uh, Should I ask you the question? It's, 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 it's confused question. Okay, uh, as long as you mention masturbation, uh, what about Muslims saying, uh, I will show you something in the screen and you help me. Is that okay? Let, okay. Give, give me a second, hold on. Actually, I, I, I heard that masturbation is forbidden in Islam, but I uh, didn't... I, I, I can't find some. No, that's that's not a true. Uh, re re reference uh, yeah. in Quran. Maybe in Hadith okay. it is quite cl clear. Yeah, uh, let us see. Here we go. I want to read for you a Hadith, and you are as long as you are the one. I mean, going there with the masturbation thing, we will read together, and I want you to focus with me a little bit. This is Imam and Nawawi. He is a Muslim Imam. Big, 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 huge Imam. All right, and this is the reference in the front of us on the screen. Look what it says in the Hadith. The Hadith is about the Prophet. He did insert his private part between her four, four, you know, and the, the translation they say uh, uh, women, but the fact in Arabic doesn't say the word the word women. So he inserts his private part between four things. What is there? There we will we will we will the hadith will be explained by the scholar. Read carefully. It says here. In another narration, the word uh, uh, a used to scholar that discre uh, uh, disagreed about intended meaning of the word shi'abuha. Anyway, let's let us go skip a little bit so we can show you what Islam is about. Here, our companions have said that if the penal head has been treated, a woman anus, or a man anus, or an animal vagina, or it is anus, it is necessarily to wash. This is religion? Can you highlight this? I did. I did. Let me, let me see if I can make it bigger. Hold on. Our companions have said that if uh, the panel head has penetrated mm. a woman's anus mm. or a man's anus or an animal vagina or mm. its anus, uh, mm. oh, it's lost. Ah, okay. Mm. Uh, then it is necessary to wash whether the one being penetrated is alive or dead. Hmm. What kind of religion this religion is? And then it says here, the one being penetrated alive or dead, which means Muslim, they have sex with dead, dead human and dead animals. And then young or old, whether it was done intentionally or accidentally, I mean, how you have sex with animal incidentally? How you enter a private part of a man inside an anus of a man accidentally? I mean, this is a joke, isn't it? So this is Islam. And later, you will see here, I mean, you can read the whole hadith. It says here, you know, but, but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, let's read. No, they do, no, they do, no, they do. This is your scholar telling you about what you should do. Go read the book of Ibn Taymiyyah. He explained to you how, how to have sex with watermelon. What are you talking about? If, if, a, if a woman insert in her vagina an animal penis, she must wash, and if she inserted detached penis, zakaran maktuan, which means a, a, a cut off penis, she have uh, to wash. And several male uh, and a, a severe, a severe male mem uh, member, a material aid perhaps. There are two opinion about that. There's two opinion, and what is the discussion? If she have to wash or not? I mean, look at this discussing religion. It's not about the moral behavior. It's about. I mean, you are talking about animal penis. We are not talking about sex toy. We are talking about she go and cut a penis of an animal, and now she is using it as a sex toy. What is the problem? Should we, should she wash or not? Read it. How this is can be from God? What kind of religion is the one discussing such a thing? This should be forbidden anyway. This is this is disgusting. A woman she is cutting the pen, a penis of an animal, and she is using it as a sex toy. And now the discussion is, should, shall she wa I, wash or not? I, I don't practice this, and, uh, no, and I think that Muslims in the entire world 
that don't practice. No, my friend, you are wrong. Go, go and search. Go and search with sex with donkeys, sex with the cows, sex with them. Muslim. They practice all those things. And your the hadith here is about your prophet inserting his private part between her four legs. The Muslim they try to fool us. Say this is not about uh, an animal. This is about a woman. But nowhere it says the word woman. And if it's about women, why the scholar he explaining about having sex with animals? Um, maybe because people at that time of uh, in in seventh century in uh, Arabia mm -hmm. was practicing that, and maybe Muhammad. Uh, wanted to to hmm. I don't know how to explain in, in English to to make an order and uh, hmm. but you know the Bible I, I, the Bible forbid such a thing long before all all the Arabs exist the Bible forbid this you do not need to Muhammad he claimed that he had the same God as Moses so what is that and in yes. the, at the same time you see, what is the morality? When God, he created Adam, how many Eve he created for him? Uh, one. Okay, why in the heaven of Allah I will have endless number of women for sex? It is, uh, it is, uh, no, uh, no, it's a treasure, it's, uh, what a treasure for, for them my friend uh, god paradise. god he created one man one woman correct yes and this was heaven okay why in heaven of allah yes. if it's the same heaven of the god of abraham why in the heaven of allah we will have endless numbers of women for sex we never heard of them we don't even know who they are yes because if for adam she was not a gift for him but uh, uh, many women for believers is a gift from Allah, you know. Who said to you, what gift? When woman, she is a gift, like you receive a gift in Amazon? What gift? Woman is a human being, my friend, what gift? Is you, with my respect uh, to your mother, are you saying your mother, no, with my respect I, I, to your mother, are you saying your mother is a gift and your father, he received her in Amazon because he paid some money? What, what gift? No. Okay, no, so no, if, uh, when I talk about, actually, if when I talk about actually, love, if when I talk about who love, is in paradise, who is, they are not a human beings, right? They no, they are. No, they, no, they are. No, they are. No, 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 they are a human because simply they have a private part of a woman. They have eyes of a woman. They have a look of a woman and they are women. Who said to you they are not a human being? Um, hmm. Because they they don't look like women no they look like women who said that to you where you get this from because they are they have a very thin skin you know very uh, okay hold on hold on yeah pure, they have very no. pure skin this is this is beautiful, this is because no skin. this is because muhammad is a racist man the arab they like white women so he promised them white women who they are so white to the point you can see the marrow of their bones Additional proof that Muhammad is a fraud. Why I need to have a woman, I can see the marrow of her bones. Why? Because simply I'm an Arab, and Arab they like white women. The whiter they are, the more beautiful they are for the Arab. So Muhammad, he promised them the following. Let us put the hadith in the screen so everybody will laugh at the fraud of Muhammad, the racist Muhammad, who is doing the wish of the Arab who like to have a beautiful women, but they have to be white in order to be beautiful for them. Read carefully. So anyone will have two wives of the Huris, this is the lowest, and will be so beautiful, pure and transparent that the marrow of their bones, of their legs, will be seen through the bones and the flesh. Do you agree with that? Can, can you repeat it? Muhammad saying you will have women who you can see through the marrow of their bones. And this is Sahih al-Bukhari. Muslim cannot say this is weak. You what can is marrow? Marrow is a marrow is a is a is a material. You know, if you if you cook uh, uh, like a bone of a uh, of a cow and you break it inside it, you find a, a, a white material. This is called the marrow. You know, people they eat it. Ah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Inside of the bone. Inside uh -huh. the bone. So this is how transparent she is. She is so white to the point you can see through the marrow which is very funny and disgusting. Let me show you how the wife, your wife in heaven will look like. I'm sure you will like it. 
And this is how your wife, let me put it for you on the screen, will look like in the heaven according to Muhammad. Let us put it in the screen. Give me a second. All right. This is your wife, my friend. I hope you will not lose electricity. This is how your wife will look like in the heaven. Take a look. Hmm? What do you think? I can, I can see anything on, on my screen. Maybe it's uh, some delay. Maybe, yeah. Ah, yes. Yeah, so this is what Muhammad he promised you in the heaven. Is that a promise of God or a promise of an idiot? This, he, this is what he said, the hadith says, we show it to you. You can see through the marrow of their bones. This is what you will see. Um, to be honest with you, I'm getting so excited now. I'm, I'm single, you know? And I cannot, cannot resist this temptation. I mean, this is so beautiful. Especially, when, look at those positions, man. Look at those men. I mean, these, come on, look at me. You are single, I'm single. You know, nobody's listening. Look at this. This is so beautiful, brother. Unbelievable. Look at this. Oh, oh, man, this is so crazy. This is so good. Oh, boy. Look at this one. Oh, boy. I cannot. This is too much. I got to go. Yeah. So what do you think? This is a promise of, this is a promise of God or a promise of a crazy man? Where did you get it from, these pictures? By Allah, He sent it to me with Jibreel. Uh, but, but it is uh, nothing but, uh, you know, uh, how to say in English, uh, race, X race. Well, yeah, but this is what Muhammad said. Muhammad, he said, you will see the marrow of their bones. Didn't he say that? So we are showing you what you will see exactly. You will see the marrow of their bones. Yes. Hmm. So, do you accept reading really a prophet? He says such a stupid statement to you like this. Oh, it's uh, it's difficult for me to to uh, to get it to understand this. No, it's not difficult, my friend. You are trying to avoid to say this is stupid. I cannot believe in this garbage. I want to leave Islam. You are having a hard time. You are afraid. You are afraid to be truthful with yourself. I can't tell from inside you. You don't believe in this garbage. And you are out of Islam already, but you are afraid to say I'm out. Why you don't say it? You know, if I, if I leave Islam, I will lose everything. Because uh, I, am, I am surrounded by Muslims. My family is a Muslim. Mm. My sister is a Muslim. Yeah. And uh, What you will lose? You will lose the virgins? What you will lose? No, you know that you will lose nothing. Because... Which is which? What is important? Following the following the devil and go to hell, or losing whatever no, you call? No, but but this is my life. You know, this is my life. No, I, you have I, no. I, my I, my I friend, had a girlfriend, my, my friend, had a girlfriend. Right now, she was a very devout person, and uh, she she told me that uh, this is our. Hmm. We have to to be a Muslims. We have this is our uh, I don't, how to say dog. In Russian, it means dog. Hmm. It's our uh, destiny, right? Hmm. But, but what still, you, still, that will not change any fact that you agree that Muhammad is a liar. So you are saying to me because you have a girlfriend, you don't want to lose your girlfriend just because you know that Muhammad is a liar. Just because of a girlfriend, you will accept Muhammad a prophet. I'm not going to change my belief following a false prophet because of a woman no matter who is this woman is even if she was my mother my sister my wife who care i will never do such a thing i am not for sale for the devil this guy is the devil there's a muslim he just said you need to learn to learn guys look what this muslim he said to me christian prince you need to learn before you read the quran what is metaphorical my friend he said you will see the bones of the women this is metaphorical you will see the marrow of the it's inside the bones. This is metaphorical. Anything is embarrassing for the Muhammad, and they say it's metaphorical. The women she have a sperm coming from her ribs, it's metaphorical. The man have a sperm coming from the backbone, it's a metaphorical. The man will have a penis, endless penis, it's metaphorical. Metaphorical for what? When Allah, he promised you an endless penis, this is metaphorical for what? Internet. 
cable, what metaphorical, and who is the one agree with you that this is metaphorical? Even the Muslim, not a single Muslim agree that this is metaphorical. So why you are fabricating a story? Potato. You know, hmm. I, I, I think that uh, if, uh, if, if Islam is wrong, if Islam is from Satan, why God ca can't destroy this? It's really destroyed. Uh, for Here we go. God is using... My friend, no, no. You are, you are wrong. Years. Islam is destroyed from the beginning, my friend. Islam. Don't you see the, all the caliphate, they killed each other? Don't you see that the Muslims now are killing each other? Don't you see that there's not a single Muslim agree with the other Muslims and each one of them call the other one kafir? Don't you see Iran when I, when I attack Turkey, Turkey when I attack Syria, Turkey when I attack Egypt, Egypt when no. I attack Turkey? Don't you see that the Muslims, even your prophet, yes. even your false prophet, look what he said. My nation will be 73 sect, only one of them will go to heaven, correct? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Well, I know. Here we go. This is your false prophet saying, my nation will be 73 sect. That's what the hadith in the screen. Uh, actually, actually, CP, I have no time. I, I have to go because my mom... Yeah, uh, but you will not leave. It. Will, you will uh, not, come, come. my friend. You come and I, I can No problem. You no problem. Anymore. I but have only five, five uh, minutes. No right? problem. Okay. So why, why you don't denounce Islam before you leave, my friend? Why you don't accept? You already said. I, I need to make. I, I, I didn't. I need to make a research about. Already you agreed. Already I showed you the Quran. Already you agreed that the Quran is a stupid when he says the women have a sperm can defend their ribs. The, the man have a sperm coming from his ba backbone. You agree that the Quran is a stupid book. So are you but already... You, this you, is not the whole Quran. Doesn't matter uh, if some of the Quran is a stupid. If some of the Quran is stupid, obviously the author is a stupid too. Doesn't matter who was the rest. And who said well, not the rest of the Quran? All oh, the rest of the Quran is a stupid. But you're saying you have no time. Otherwise, I can show you from the first page of the Quran to the last page of the Quran that this is the most stupid book. I advise you now before you leave to say and agree that the Quran is a book of a fraud. And you already you did. You said this is a lie. This can't be true. So why you don't say the Quran is a fraud? Uh, uh, you know, I agree with that Quran has uh, mistakes. Mm. Like a Bible has mistakes. No, the Bible, no, does not. No, that's not true. That's not true. You see, first of all, the Bible is written by a man, which means there is opinion of a man and there is God words. If God words is wrong, that will be a different story. But if I say something and what I say, if you go in the Bible, you see that the, the Satan he speak. Bad people they speak. Bad people they do things. The, the Bible is a book of history reporting what people said and did. So you cannot say the same. In the Quran, every word in the Quran, according to Muslims, is said by Allah only. No other person involved. Even the angel, he is not even speaking there. Even the angel, he say what Allah told him. So when we go in the Bible, we see that David said, but David is a man, not God. We go in the Bible, we see that uh, uh, this person said, this guy, his name is etc. said, this guy, his name is etc. said, this guy, his name is etc. He did. It's not God talking. We call the book the book of God because it's teaching us about God. But this book contains history, stories of men and women who did these things, have connection with the establishment of the Jewish belief. So you are mistakenly mixing things up. The Quran, all of it, supposedly, word by word, letter by letter, even the dots in the Quran, there's no doubts actually, is made by Allah. So when we find a stupid mistake in the Quran, and not one, we find thousands. And then you want to say to me, same as the Bible, that's not that's not honest from you. So if I am you, as long as you agree that the Quran is full of stupidity, you are following a stupid God. So why you don't denounce Allah and accept the truth? Uh, uh, because uh, I, I have only one chance to accept Islam and only one chance to leave Islam, right? If mm. I leave Islam, mm. then Allah, Allah will never forgive me. <laughs> no, my friend. No, no, no. My... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You have a wrong understanding. You see, Muhammad is the most hypocrite man ever. All those who they are around him, he told them, if you don't accept Islam, Allah will never forgive you. And then they did not accept Islam. And then after that, he accept, they accept Islam. And then some of them, they even leave Islam. And he said, those who leave Islam, they will they, 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 let them die and they are kafir. And then they came back to Islam when he became victorious. 
and now and now they are great names in the history of Islam. Muhammad he made them prince and princess to rule countries. So Muhammad is the biggest fraud in history. And why you are worried about the dead man? Aren't you worried about the living Jesus? Christ is alive, my friend. He is going to come in the judgment day. Even in the stupid Muhammad story book, he admitted that Jesus is coming back. So in the judgment day, you will not stand in the front of the fraud Muhammad. You will stand in the front of the living God, the Messiah. Aren't you afraid from that day? <sighs> I have to go now. You, you are scared. You are scared to say the truth. You already admit that Quran is a stupid book. Why you don't say it? Why you don't say Islam obviously is a fraud? You admitted that the Quran is a stupid book. Uh, CP, uh, if if I if I will confess that Islam is a book not from God, I I I want to to do this on my own, you know. No, I, I'm, I'm not. not I'm not forcing you. I'm not forcing you. I'm just discussing with you. Did I force you? I'm just asking you. You just admitted and agreed that the Quran is a book of mistakes and error and stupidity. So it cannot be a book of God. So why you want to follow a book which is not obviously the book of God? Uh, it seems so. Yes, I. I agree. It seems so, but. I. If, if we, if my friend, we, you do not need to say anything more. That's it. You left Islam. You just said. You just said. It seems so. It seems that the Quran is a fraud. So you are out of Islam already. I mean, you don't want to say the word "I am out of Islam," but you just said so. You said it seems so. Yes, according to you, uh, Christian Prince, it seems so. But no, 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 not according to me. No, no, it's not ac not according to me. No, no, don't change the word. Don't change the word. You are the one who said it seems so. I said to you. I said. I said. Hussein. I said. Quran is a book full of errors and mistakes, and you agree with that. And then you say it, it seems so. This is your opinion, not my opinion. So not according to me. This is according to your understanding, and you agreed with it. So you say it, it seems so. So the Quran is a book of errors and mistake and fraud. It seems so, and you confirm that. So you are out of Islam. Uh, actually, I, I have a question. Uh, was Jesus a Muslim, and his followers were they a Muslims? My friend, how because Jesus, they, in order for Jesus to be a Muslim, he had to be child molester like Muhammad. Jesus never have sex, never slept with the women, never touch a woman. Muhammad, he did not kill. Muhammad did not steal. Muhammad, Jesus did not uh, uh, steal. Jesus did not kill. Jesus did not rape. I mean, Muhammad, even the Muslims accuse him that he stole an underwear. You know that, right? Even underwear, he is a thief accused of stealing underwear, which is stolen from, 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 the, from the Arab. Those, this is a prophet. He attacked people in the street and he steal their clothing. And the Quran confirmed that. So how you can say Jesus was a Muslim? Why? He was a thief. He was a gang. He was a caravan rider. He was a pirate. He was a rapist. He was a child molester. How he can be a, 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 to be to be a Muslim prophet? You have to be, have the qualification. And what the qualification? Number one, you have to to be a person who have no dignity. Muhammad, he go to the house of his own wife and he, his own son wife, and he flirted with the wife in the house of the son. This is not even a friend. What do you think, Hussein, if you, if a, fr a few father, he come to your house and he flirt with your wife? He said to her, oh, you are so sexy. I like you. Huh? What do you think about your father if he do that? With my respect to your father. Uh, my father is a nice person. Okay, but that's not the question. What do you think if your father, I'm not saying he is a bad person. I'm saying if, if, if. And I know your, your dad is not a, not, not a bad person. I'm saying, what do you think if a person, your father or my father or anyone, he come to the house and he flirt with his own son wife? Do you think he is a good person or he is a piece of garbage? Uh, no, uh, I think that a lot of Muslims in, in modern world, they are different from Muhammad, right? They, okay, so you are saying to me, are so you are saying to me, than, uh, you, okay, you are saying to me, of, Muslims are better than Muhammad. Thing. Guys, he just said, Muslims are better than Muhammad. Look at this. So what kind, why you follow Muhammad? Okay, all Muslims are better than Muhammad. So Muhammad is a piece of garbage. And you admit it. Uh, but Muhammad was a merciful person. and He, he was a merciful he, to the point he go to your house and he flirt with your wife. This is mercy. This is horrible. This will destroy you. This will uh, hurt you. This will hurt your, 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 your feeling. You are, a, you are a human being. 
a father he come to your house and he do cheat on you with your wife that is a merciful behavior can you imagine how much pain the husband he no. went through but i heard the story about zaid and zainab but uh it's zaid who decided to not a true not not a true not a true not 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 a true not a true when 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 uh, zaid he came back to the house and i can share reference right now when zaid he came back to the house his wife she told him your father he was here and he flirted with me and he said the following sentences to me zaid Fafatina Zaid, that's what the hadith, hadith says, Fafatina, so he noticed Zaid, he remember, oh, oh, no, so my father, he liked her, so he went to his father, he said, my father, let me divorce her, because he knew he, she, she, she's sleeping with him already, so Muhammad the hypocrite, imagine, five minutes ago, he was flirting with the wife, saying, I like you, I want you, five minutes after the son, he came, he told him, I want to divorce her. Muhammad he says, no, no, keep your wife, man. Don't divorce her. And then he made the verse in the Quran saying, why, Muhammad? Allah told him, supposedly. Why? Why you are saying to the one, I don't want, I want to divorce the wife, keep it for you, when you know that Allah, he made her for you lawful. Allah, he made her lawful for you. So Muhammad, he made something nobody did before. The Arab, they was making fun of him, that this is scam. He claimed to be a prophet, yet he want to have sex with his own son, wife. And he did. Uh, I don't know. No, you know. I I, me I mentioned I mentioned that uh, guy uh, Habib Nurmagomedov, right? My friend, my father, friend, go, before, before my friend, forget about this Habib. Died. My friend, forget about forget about this Habib. This guy is a donkey. I don't have respect for him. I don't have respect even for all those who play boxing because obviously they are a bunch of donkeys. What boxing? I mean, we we can get a donkey. He can kick you in in your bum and you die. Donkey, he, he have more power for than your hand. What what does this have to do with our topic? I mean, why in the world we insert a topic about a guy he is a boxer or a fighter, which means he have no brain. Because if he have a brain, he will be having a school. He will be successful in something. But going and beating people up, that will not make you really anything good to me. That will make you an idiot. To make it a profession for you, it means you are not successful in school. You have no brain. The only thing you do is to kick and kill. Well, if this is what you can do, we have many people, they can do even better than that. But in the top of that, they have a school, they have education, they have degree. So who care what this guy he say? Who care if Muhammad Ali, he said Muhammad is a prophet? Here we go. We are showing you what kind of prophet Muhammad is. Can Muhammad Ali change the fact that Muhammad is a fraud and he's a scam? So don't bring stupidity to my topic, my friend. At least when you mention a name, mention the name of somebody he have little respect for him i don't respect those people they are drug dealers all those yes. all those who speak but about them Kadarov, hold on hold on uh, all those all those who they live in russia those muslims from chechenia all the country yes. work in drugs all of them they are gang leaders are you and you know it Dr gang, you know drugs weapon this is what they do for a living so when you mention to me those people to prove islam to me and you are the one who said to me the muslims here we are very aggressive if you say something against muhammad we will we, we kill you right that is additional proof that they are not in the yes. level in the level of civil people to be even considered for they are still they are following a savage prophet for they are savage themselves so you want to be a savage like them no Okay, so what Ibrahim have to do with me, Habib, with the stupid Habib? What he have to do with us? Why you mention Habib when we talk about because, Muhammad uh, and God? Because of him and uh, guys like him, some people accept Islam for maybe Shinet or Connor. Uh, My friend, who cares? They, they, will, after, they will leave Islam. Habib so if somebody, if somebody Muhammad became, Muhammad okay, but those... Habib uh, My friend. won this fight and, and, and he said, Alhamdulillah, I will smash your boy. You know, <laughs> My, and, uh, My friend, Alhamdulillah, Islam. okay, tell Habib from me, Alhamdulillah, I smash your prophet. I made him a joke every day, what he can do, Alhamdulillah. This is the most stupid, you know, Muslims lose fight every day, don't you? Do, 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 why, why, why Habib don't go and destroy Israel? That's, the, that's it, he can do kickboxing, you know? Why the Shishenia cannot have their freedom from Russia? They do kickboxing, they are aggressive, but they are not, they are potatoes. When the Russian came to Grozny, they destroyed all of a Grozny, and all those Mujahideen, they became a chicken. What happened? Where, the, where is the heroes? And now Putin, he controlled them like puppies. He made Kadarov, who is the head of the gang. He said, listen, 
I will let you be a president, do as you wish in the, in the land, but you still under my shoes. You will live under my shoes forever. This is the condition of the Russian. This is the truth. Those people who want to have Islamic State and they want to say for the sake of Allah, what happened now they are living under the Kuffar. The president of Russia is Putin. Kadarov is just a donkey for Putin. He ride him as he wish to control the people. All of us, we knew this. But what does this have to do with our topic? We just showed you that Muhammad is a fraud. What people say, what I say, what he say, it's not about me, it's not about you. It's about what is in the front of us in the screen. Muhammad obviously is a fraud. Uh, yes, uh, I, I don't know what to say, you know, I don't know what to say because uh, you have a very strong point. You say you leave Islam. Well, what do you say? You say Muhammad is a fraud. I'm out. That's it. Be a man. Uh, be the man. Be the I, man. As I said before, and uh, uh, some people in the chat, they begging me to leave Islam. I see, I see this. But guys, please don't force me to do that. Because we are I not forcing to, you. We are not forcing I, you. I, I, I need we to are not time forcing time you, my friend. Take time. We are not forcing you. We are saying be a man. You already left Islam, actually. You agree that the Quran full of stupid things. You agree that the stories of Muhammad is disgusting. So, and, and, and you, everything I said to you, you did not deny it. You said, I agree with you. So what is left? You, you left Islam already. You say it, you didn't say it. It doesn't matter. You are already out of Islam. The one who says the Quran is not the book of Allah, obviously is the Muslim no more. And you said that. You said the Quran obviously have a lot of errors and mistakes. That's mean the Quran is not the book of God. This is what, this is what it's meant by saying the Quran is full of errors and mistakes. This is not the book of God. You just said that. It, uh, you know, if, if, if somebody in Chechnya uh, will find out that I left Islam, I need to escape my hometown. Nobody knows your name. Homeland. Nobody, your, uh, like, like nobody, Muslims, nobody like knows your full name. Muslims from Chechnya did. Okay. They, they live now in Canada, in uh, Europe. In my Africa. friend, they live in Canada. They are, they are far. Here we go. I live in USA. People make fun of Muhammad El all over. They can do nothing. Nobody can do anything. Trust me. We have, well, where are they? Who they are? We make, we make cartoon of Muhammad. We laugh at Muhammad. We, 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 we do whatever about Muhammad. Where are they? Do they dare even to put their head in the, in the street say we will kill you? They cannot. They don't dare. Stop, you know, you, you are living in fear, but they, they are the one in fear. You see, when somebody says we will kill you, if you say something about Muhammad, because he's fearing that you will speak out, you will say you, you will be free. He, he's, a, he's afraid from you. He, he is afraid of him, you, not the opposite. Uh, did you hear about uh, Ramzan Kadyrov? He's the head of our republic. No, I did not hear about such a guy. Uh, it's, uh, it's very, uh, very, very, uh, very powerful man and uh, USA uh, put it him to a blacklist and uh, forbid him in uh, USA you know um, because uh, he's a very aggressive guy and he uh, killed all of his uh, enemies praise be to Europe, Allah praise be to Russia. Allah he's, pra he's a practice in Islam he's a good guy praise be to Allah <laughs> my friend who care about this shit excuse my language all those people, they are shit and they will go in the sewage one day. But there is one name is going to stay in the heaven. That is God, the Messiah. Don't worry about the people of a human being. All those people will go. All those people will go. Nobody will stay. They will take nothing with them. And they are no powerful. They, know, actually, they are no powerful. They have no power. Okay. They are just a bunch okay. of gang. They are limited in their areas and they are stupid and they, are, they have no value actually. This is why even countries are forbidding them from coming. Why? because they are so much exposed as a drug dealers. So who respect those people? Nobody. They can have money, they can be rich, you know, who care? You will see a woman, she became a superstar. Why? Because she's a porn star. Imagine a porn a star. Who care? I mean, it doesn't matter what you, how, how many star you put next to this name, still he is a porn star. <laughs> what a star. What, you know what? Uh, Orthodox, Orthodox Christian priests in our country, they support Islam, support Islamic Republic, and they say that Islam is good and Islam is the religion of God. No, that's like not true. That, that's not true. That's not true. 
just, just a few years ago, a, a Christian priest, he's an Orthodox, he was killed by Muslims for exposing Islam. That's not true, my friend. Orthodox. Uh, 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 no. who, what, what is his name? I forgot his name. I'm not a Russian. I don't remember a Russian name. But you can. Wait, wait, maybe, maybe Daniel Sasso, if you mean. I don't know his name. You can search his name. But anyway, Orthodox priests, they don't say Islam is the truth. Orthodox priests, they yes, suffer a lot yes, from Islam. That, that was true, actually. A, a, a Russian Orthodox priest, Daniel Sosoyev, was killed in his church hmm. uh, during praying by a Muslim, uh, you know, jihadist. Correct. So uh, yes, that so, was true. But so, but we we are here to say that the priest who died for sake of the truth, his name will be remembered under the throne of God. So we are, we don't fear no one. They can kill. They can attack. And those people who kill, they will go and be in executed anyway by the law, and we don't fear them. So, and not only that, you can imagine how many people who wonder why this guy was killed and start reading what he was saying. This is why I encourage all people who want to expose Islam to write books. So, if one day Muslims kill me, let us say, for the sake of whatever, and then my books will be not only read by 10 millions, will be read by hundreds of millions. Because people want to see why this guy got killed. People who never heard of me, they will be wondering. And my name will be written in the book of God. So we fear no one. The truth is going to be always superior. Criminals will never win. They can kill the body, but they cannot kill the soul. The Bible says, fear not those who destroy the body. Fear those who destroy your soul, your spirit. So our spirit is always with the Messiah. And we fear nobody. And Muhammad is the biggest fraud. They like it, they don't like it, they have guns, we have more guns. They have weapons, we have more weapons. They are men, we are more men. And they are cowards. But this Actually, is not... Actually, I have one question before I leave now. Hmm. From, uh, you know, from the chat, uh, one supposedly Russian girl uh, quoted John 3.16 Ибо так возлюбил Бог, что отдал сына своего единородного, чтобы каждый верующий в него не погиб, но имел жизнь вечную. Окей. Okay. Uh, we, uh, we as Muslims, we don't believe in the Son of God, you know, and uh, God... Uh, no, you believe. No, 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 you, no, you, no, you believe. Yes. No, no, you believe. You want me to prove it to you in two seconds that you believe in the Son of God? Can you repeat, please? You, as a Muslim, you believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Do you want me to prove it to you in two seconds? I believe, I believe that he is one of the greatest prophets. No, no, you don't believe in that. You, as a Muslim, you believe still. You see, Muslims are very funny. Islam is a very funny, stupid religion. If I ask you right now, who is the father of Jesus? Uh, he has no father. No, you have. He have. There's nobody have no father. You see, Adam was created from mud. Jesus is not created from mud. He is born. So when the Quran says Jesus is the same as Adam, this is stupid because Adam was not born. Jesus is born. So he is born of a woman. Who is his father? The answer is very simple. You will say to me, who is the one who made his father, who is the one who made Mary have a son? Uh... If I sleep with uh, the woman, if I sleep with the woman, I made her have a son. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. Who is the one who made Mary have a son? Is it a uh, man or God? Is it a man or God? Uh, according, according to your beliefs. No, according to your belief. No, no, I'm not talking about my belief now. I'm talking about your belief. According, according to your belief, who is the one who made Mary have a son? Man or God? Allah. Allah. So who is the father of Jesus? Uh, <laughs> Islam is the most uh, stupid, dummy religion ever. The one who made the women have a son is his father. As simple as that. So you deny that Jesus is son of God, but here there's the case, there is no sexual relationship. Why? Because he's God. So God, he can make a woman have a son, but this is the son of who? This is his son. The woman, she did not sleep with the God. The man, this person who's born, he have no father. That is impossible. He's born, but yet he have no father. Only one person in the whole universe, he is born, yet have no father. The Muslim cannot explain to us 
who is his father and how this is happening and why i mean okay jesus will be a prophet can't be he a prophet and with having a father like every prophet every prophet have a father how come jesus will not have one for he is not the son of any man for he is god on earth this is why jesus says i am not from this earth my kingdom is above i am from above yes okay hmm. but uh Okay, but this is from uh, gospel, not from Jesus, right? This my friend, my gospel. friend, my friend, my friend. No, don't go there. Don't oh, go there. No, no, don't go there. Don't go there. This is from Jesus. Because when the gospel says that Jesus said, that is Jesus saying, not the gospel saying. That is the says of Jesus. So don't go there. Even your Quran confirm what is written there. And I just show, I ask you, according to Islam, Jesus is the son of who? You could not give me an answer because he have no father so who is his father in islam he has no father because uh, allah created his spirit in uh, uh okay he put his spirit <laughs> to the womb of his my friend my mother, friend Mary, my right? friend why he have no father this is the question adam have a fa adam have no father because he was made from mud there's no human being before him Everyone after the Quran yes. says in chapter 25, verse number 54, So we made it after Adam from every human being from relationship of sex and marriage. But Jesus is not. So Jesus is born, but yet he have no father. Why? I don't know. No, no, you know, no, you know, because he is not from this earth. You see, you see this. this the stupid and Muhammad, the stupid Muhammad told you Jesus. that Jesus, the stupid Muhammad, he told you that Jesus is just a prophet. But he can't explain to us why he is just a man, but he have no father. Because every man have a father. Why he's just a man, but he is alive in heaven. Every man die. Why he's just a man, but he can make the dead come from the grave. Why he's just a man, but he can make the blind see. Why he's just a man, but he can tell you what you hide in your houses, what you are thinking in your brain, what even you did in the past. In the dark, nobody knows except him. He knew the unseen. Why he's just a man, but he is holy. Why he have no sin? No explanation. The only explanation to have all of those things. Jesus, he created from the mother bird. This is what the Quran says. He's a creator. So right now as we speak, we have a bird flying in the sky made by Jesus. How that can be? Right now, the Quran admit that there's a two creator, creators. One, his name is Jesus the Messiah, and one, the other one, his name is Allah. And the Messiah, he created from the mud a bird, and he breathed into it, not Allah breathed into it. From the breath of Jesus, life come. The Quran confirmed that. The Muslim, they say, Allah gave him ability. That is a stupid statement, because he gave him ability. Yes. Or, or, hold, hold on. If he gave him ability, that will not change the fact that still he have the ability now. If he is, re, is if I receive ability, to be a creator, I became God. Look what the Quran said. The Quran says that anyone can create a fly, he is God. Do you agree with that? Uh, can you show me the reference? No problem. This is the reference. This is your Quran saying, we know. You are worshiping God, they cannot even create a fly. Chapter 22, verse number 73. So what is the reason to worship somebody? If he can create a fly, the Quran confirmed that Jesus can create not only a fly, he can create birds. Fly don't have a spirit, they are just the creatures programmed. Jesus, in the Quran, he gave a soul to the bird. Okay, so the Quran says, in order to worship somebody, at least let him create a, a fly. At least. Okay, can they create a fly? Uh -huh, yes. Okay, so if somebody cannot create a fly, he cannot. He is not qualified to be God. So if Jesus was given from Allah ability to create, that means Allah gave him the ability to be God. And this would be so stupid from Allah to give somebody else beside him ability to create. I mean, what the point of this is just to show us that Jesus is a prophet? Well, already he made the blind see. Already he, he, already he can tell you what you had in your houses. Already he made the one who is dead alive. He is a resurrector. Why I need to give him more power to make him even creator? What that will do? 
Don't Allah knew if he gave him all this power, the Christian, they will think he is God. So if you think about it, the Christian believe in Jesus, that he is God because of the stupid Allah. Why? Because the stupid Allah, according to the Quran, gave him all this power to the point those Christians became so confused how this guy can be a man, yet he can do what God can do. Obviously, he is God. So if the Christians mistakenly worship Jesus by mistake as God, the fault is the fault of the stupid God of Islam because he is the one who gave him the power according to Muslims. However, this is a stupid claim because there is no proof that Allah himself can create a fly. It's just a stupid book written. I can say right now, I am the one who gave Jesus the power to create a bird. I am the one who gave Jesus the power to, to, to resurrect people. But this is a claim. People will laugh at me. And the Quran is a laughable book. The God of Islam, if he is the one who gave Jesus what he have, he should know even how the baby is created. We just showed you that this is stupid book believe that man have a sperm coming from the backbone and women have a sperm coming from the ribs. Uh, actually, uh, did you saw a video about scientific miracles? My friend, I have a book. I have, I have two books. I have two books exposing. Maybe 50, maybe 100 of miracles. All of them, they are false. Ways. No, all, no, 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 no. Not even a single one of them is true. And I challenge any Muslim beside you to show me one of them is true. All of them, they are fraud. I have two books. They are, they are nothing but exposing those lies. Deception of Allah and Quran and science in depth. Go read them and die laughing. Actually, in case you do not know, I have my book translated into the Russian language. You should go and search it in, in, in Google, and uh, or maybe the admin can post for you the Russian copy, and you can download it in Russian for free as a gift from me for all Russian people. And tell your friends about it, and you will die laughing at the stupidity and the lies they have. I, I need to, to go now. But you left Islam already. I'm so happy for you. Um, Are you going to have... It's not a... It's, it's, you know, it's a very long way. No, 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 you left Islam already. What long way? What long way? You are just, you are just, uh, you are just afraid to say, no, you did, you did. What long way? Already you left Islam. You agree that the Quran is a book of errors and stupidity. And thank you very much. You left Islam. Next time you call me, I will, I will, I will, uh, I will help you more. And maybe the Lord will open your eyes and you will join us in the faith of Jesus and you believe in him as God and Savior. So we are happy for you that you are out of Islam, out of the garbage of Muhammad, out of a belief, believe that God will give you endless penis. Even the promise alone is, is hilarious. Imagine you are six foot tall and your penis is in China. And then the Chinese, they call you. The Chinese, they give you a ticket because your penis is blocking the highway. I mean, this is the most stupid religion ever. Endless penis. And then what? Muhammad, to make it fixed, actually, supposedly actually, he said, and a, vagina, people, and a vagina, and a vagina fit for that. Imagine. So your wife, she will have a vagina deep like a tunnel, endless tunnel. So you, excuse my language, you put it in and the penis keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. You go to the black hole, the galaxy, galaxy number one. It's endless. It's endless vagina, endless penis. I mean, who in the world want to believe in such a garbage? Uh, by, by the way, uh, what about circumcision? Uh, I thought that Jesus was circumcised. My friend, hold on. I, I thought that I thought that Muhammad he taught you circumcision. How come he himself was not circumcised? Muhammad yes. was circumcised. No, he was, was not. No, he was not. No, he was not. He never been. Muhammad became a prophet at the age of forty when he was get circumcised. Show me reference. Never. Okay, I, I have to go. Now. Okay, go and circumcise and let me know what will happen. <laughs> uh, can, can I call you later, maybe uh, tomorrow? My friend, anytime I am live on area, you're welcome to call me. God bless you and we pray for you. And we are happy for you that you are out of the cult of Muhammad. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. That's wonderful. You call me as a Muslim, you hang up as non-Muslim. What do you want more? Who's next? <laughs>